Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I have a highly requested video for you. Now, if you've ever seen my Bunches of Lunches series, you'll know that I like to share lunch ideas for my kids and breakfast ideas as well, but I've had so many people ask for me to show what I actually eat in a day, and so that's exactly what I'm sharing with you. So stay tuned. Now, I am not a morning person, you guys, and that's why overnight oats are perfect for me. I can make them in advance. When I make overnight oats, I make some for the whole family, not just for myself, and I like to make some for a couple of days, usually. So I'm gonna be making two different kinds for myself, two different kinds for my husband, and I'm also making some for the kids. Now, for my husband who's gluten-free, I'm using the gluten-free oats, and for everyone else, I'm just using these organic, old-fashioned oats from Trader Joe's. The great thing about overnight oats is you can really customize it however you prefer. So I like to start by adding just a scoop or two of oats. Next, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of flax seed mill. Now you guys, I am no nutritionist, but I have heard that this is a good way to add omega-3s and healthy fats to this breakfast. And really, I don't even taste this once it's in there. After that, it's time to add some milk, and I like to use the unsweetened vanilla flavored almond milk in this, but you could also use dairy milk or even coconut milk if you'd like. And I like to add enough milk so that the oatmeal is completely covered. I really do not like dry oatmeal, and as this sits in the fridge, the oatmeal is going to absorb all this milk and it's gonna be so yummy. Next, I'm going to add just a little bit of sweetness to these. I like to add just a few teaspoons of maple syrup, and sometimes I'll even use honey. To my kids' oatmeal, I'm going to add one teaspoon of peanut butter to each container, and I'm also gonna add peanut butter to one of my containers and one of my husband's. So on one day, we'll have this kind, and on the next day, we'll have a different kind. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir these up. I just wanna fully incorporate all of the flax and the peanut butter and all of that stuff. And once that's done, I'm going to add some different flavorings to my other jars. I'm gonna take some fruit. This was frozen fruit from Costco. It's a mixture of strawberries and mangoes and pineapple. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop them right into my containers. And they're not even all the way thawed out. But they will be by the morning and they will be yummy. That's all I'm going to put in these for now. I'm gonna go ahead and screw my lids on. I have these plastic reusable lids from Walmart. And then before I eat this and before I serve them to my kids, I will add a few other toppings. My kids like bananas and raisins on theirs, and I like to add walnuts and coconut on mine. Okay guys, so it's the next morning now and it's about 7 a.m. And I'm actually usually eating my breakfast and making my kids lunches at the same time. So I'll have a couple of bites and do some work, and have a couple of bites and do some work. You know how it goes. I'm actually recording this video on a Tuesday, and Tuesdays are a super busy day for me. I have meetings, the kids have to go to their co-op. It's just a busy day. I feel like a mom taxi on those days. Now, because I ended up having breakfast so early this day, around 10 o'clock, I am definitely ready for a snack. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this protein shake. I really like this chocolate flavored one from Costco. It's not super expensive, and it's actually made of really good ingredients. Now sometimes I'll actually add a frozen banana to this or even some spinach and really bulk it up. For today, I'm just using two scoops of protein powder, some frozen strawberries, and almond milk. So it's kind of a chocolate covered, strawberry flavored protein drink. It's really yummy. Now we recently got this Nutribullet from Costco and so far I am loving it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my smoothie into this beautiful cup that my friend Fallon gave me. She is so sweet. And of course, I love it because it has Minnie Mouse on it. And it's portable, so that's great. Okay guys, now it is about lunchtime for me. And usually that's a little bit later, like one o'clock, even two o'clock on some days, because I'm so busy doing other things. But today I'm keeping it really easy. And I like to eat things that I can throw together quickly. Today I'm making a chicken avocado wrap. I'm starting with some rotisserie chicken. 
And then I was going to use this avocado, but it was really not ripe on this day. So instead I'm using some store prepared guacamole. And at my local grocery store, they do such a good job. This is the Hatch Green Chili guacamole. So there's already onions and garlic, tomatoes, and green chilies in there. So it's really tasty, not too expensive, and it makes for a really quick lunch. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this, a little bit of sour cream, and mix it up, and that is it. I'm gonna put this on a low-carb tortilla. I got these from Target. I wasn't sure if I was going to like them, but they're actually really good. They have sort of a chewier, thicker consistency, but I really like them. To go along with this wrap, I'm also gonna have some sliced up cantaloupe. I'm a huge fan of cantaloupe, especially around this time of year, and maybe just a few grapes. Now usually around 4 p.m. I start looking for another snack. For me, dinner's not gonna come until much later in the evening. Now I have to be honest with you guys, sometimes my snack choices are not the healthiest, but I am trying to do better. So for today, I'm gonna go ahead and make some hard boiled eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of them because I know my kids will like them too. And they're a quick snack to just have ready. And you guys, I started making my hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot and it's a total game changer. You have to try it if you have an Instant Pot. It does such a good job. And as long as I get them into an ice bath directly after I get them out, they peel so easily. So for today, I'm just gonna go ahead and put two hard boiled eggs in a container. And I'm also gonna treat myself with this strawberry rhubarb soda from Trader Joe's. It has less sugar and it's not very big, so I don't feel like it's too bad and I really enjoy it. And both of these items are perfect to have on the go because around this time I need to start taking my kids to their classes and picking them up and things like that. So by this time I had gotten all the kids home and I knew that dinner was going to be super easy. So I spent some time actually tidying up my kitchen before I made dinner. And so today I actually reorganized my spice cabinet. I'll give you a peek at that. It turned out really well. I recently got this spice rack at Costco and I'm loving it. So now I'm going to quickly throw together an easy dinner. Now because I eat dinner usually a little bit later, I like to make something that is easy and quick. So tonight I'm making a barbecue chicken cauliflower crust pizza. I actually got this cauliflower crust at Trader Joe's. It's only like $2.99 it's already made for me. It's gluten free so my husband can have it too and we'll end up sharing this pizza. And the kids will just have a regular pizza because they're, they're not really into the barbecue kind. I'm going to start by par cooking my cauliflower crust because that's what the directions tell me to do. Once that's done, I'm going to add my sauce, which is half barbecue sauce and half marinara sauce. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put down some of my shredded rotisserie chicken. This is off the same rotisserie that we got the other day from Costco. I'm also gonna add some mozzarella cheese and some thinly sliced purple onion. And then that's only gonna take about 10 minutes in the oven. It is so quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with a simple salad with some blue cheese dressing. I'm pretty much the only one in my family who likes blue cheese dressing. And I like this kind from Bolt House because it's made with yogurt and it's a little bit lighter on calories and fat. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed seeing what I like to eat in a day. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.